in my last lecture, I talked about the tropic premise, suggesting that humans are similar to plants in that they grow in a direction of which is set by the genes but controlled by the environment. So in humans, if they obey the tropic premise, keep their mouth shut with their tongue and their palate, then the growth will be correct. Many people find this difficult to understand. Um, so I will give you an example of what I mean. Um, I was treating a young girl when her mother told me that her older brother, a boy called Stanley, had been told that he'd got an impacted upper left canine and it was going to require fairly major surgery to either remove it or reposition it. And I was interested, so I said, well, could I have a look at him? So she brought him along to see me. And after an examination, I said to her, I can achieve that successfully without any surgery. The canine was actually impacted behind his upper central incisor, so it was quite severe. Nevertheless, I have tackled similar cases before, and um, she agreed, and no doubt Stanley was quite enthusiastic. Certainly, he wore the appliances perfectly, initially at stage one, to make room for the tongue and encourage the upper anteriors to move forward. He then wore a stage three. Now for four months, so it was a stage one for three months, a stage four for four months. Um, at the end of the four months, the canine erupted just in front of the upper premolar, where of course it should have erupted in the first place. Now, many people would think that was impossible, but as I say, I think it's a good example of the tropic premise. Every cell in the body knows where it should be within that body. And all it needs in addition to that is to know where it is. And of course, in the long term, that presents um, uh, the posture. So because he had corrected his posture, the canine moved from an impaction behind the central incisor all the way back, and that's quite a distance, to the first premolar. Now, that, as I say, is an example of how the growth can be guided, you might say, but in reality, I think it is the cells which know where they should go. Now, he was really an excellent patient. Uh, he didn't want to have the surgery, and I find that patients who've been told they need surgery usually cooperate very well. Um, anyway, he wore his stage three 22 hours a day. I asked him to wear it 20 hours a day, but he did achieve 22. And I'm sure that is one of the reasons why it went so successfully. But um, the important thing to learn from this essentially is that if you can correct and maintain good posture, there is an excellent chance that the whole face, not just individual teeth, the whole face will grow correctly.